Okay, I want to turn our attention back to that forecast now. It looks a, a little, you know, like a <laughs> November day. Kelly. Yeah, a little gloomy out there. We are seeing the weather turn here, so we are uh, seeing some showers pushing into the west sides of Portland. You can likely see them there and just how cloudy and gloomy it looks at this hour. So grab the rain jacket for the afternoon. We'll keep a chance for some light showers at times around Portland and for the north end of the valley. Same goes for the coast out to seaside there. I was seeing some folks walking around with an umbrella. So we are pushing in some rain showers. Stoller winery cloudy over the vineyards there up to Mount Hood Meadows. All that snow we saw. Uh, melted off again at around 5,000 feet. We'll get some late snow this week for the Cascades later this uh, week here, but uh, right now pretty bare up there. Temperatures in the low 50s now up and down the valley and out to the coast. There are some uh, heavier showers out towards areas of the coast. Right now, Portland getting some light showers pushing in. All part of a system here that is just grazing our area. The bulk of this rain is staying offshore and further towards the north, but we are getting clipped by the edge of it here. So there are some heavier showers out towards the coast, uh, and we are seeing some of those showers entering the Portland metro area. They are very light. Again, right now we've got those showers over the city here. Uh, so roadways could be a little damp. You may see some light showers showers on your windshields or if you're stepping outside for a walk here, we'll see another round of these light showers heading into our afternoon. So uh, prepare to see some of that rain throughout today. I do see a drier evening on tap. So here's a rainfall future cast. I get another band of this rain working in closer to about three, four o'clock. So uh, we'll likely see some of these showers into the uh, early parts of the evening. By about seven o'clock, this model has those showers pushing out the door. So we do dry up here quickly as the system continues to roll out of the region. Then we get some dry time overnight through Wednesday. We'll keep mainly dry conditions. We're in between systems, but this next one that rolls in will likely pack a punch here. Take a look at the afternoon on Wednesday. Likely still dry around the valley, but we start to see those showers approaching the coast, and this is about the timing we'll start to see some winds ramping up and some heavy showers pushing in. Uh, this first band of rain also entering areas of the valley, likely by the evening time. So expect to see rain uh, to finish out our Wednesday as we head into the evening. Some heavy showers setting up across the coast, and then overnight into our Thursday, a second band of moisture rolling in here, and we'll see these rain showers up and down the valley. Same for the coast. Some of these showers could be heavy at times and we'll track a slight chance for an isolated thunderstorm around the coast by late tonight, uh, excuse me, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We do clear out that system by the afternoon on Thursday and the evening looking uh, much drier there. But again, through the system, we'll likely see some gusty winds, even damaging winds possible. So take a look at our wind gust forecast going into Wednesday night. These winds start to ramp up here out to Yahats, Newport, areas of the central coast. We'll see some wind gusts around 35 to 40 miles per hour. They continue to ramp up here through Thursday morning. Look at these speeds from the south. We could see some wind gusts up to 50, even 60 miles per hour, mainly for the higher headlands. But some of these cities here out to Pacific City, we could see some wind gusts around 55. This model pointing to wind gusts around Tillamook, maybe up to 30, 35 miles per hour. So we'll track this very closely, even in Portland and up to Salem here. Uh, going into our Thursday morning, we could see some gusts around 40 miles per hour. So we'll track this closely in case there are any adjustments. But again, going into Thursday, likely some stormy conditions setting up for the coast and here in the valley. Today, though, temperature is ending in the mid to upper 50s. We'll keep rain showers around just a drier evening tonight as this system here pushes out the door. Wednesday, mainly dry, also warming up, likely low 60s. But we do see some stormy conditions setting up for the coast and here in Portland. In the city, we'll keep temperatures in the 50s as we head our way into the end of the week. And we've got rain almost every single day here. Chance for showers. So keep the rain gear nearby, the rain jacket hanging by the door. Temperatures will stay in the 50s heading into our weekend. Okay, just an excuse to go buy some new rain jackets. Right? That's right. I already did that this uh, season. So. I did that too. And yeah. off season too when they're on sale. Yeah, yeah. same in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be more uh, we'll be back with more news and weather.